Now let me show you how to set or change the height. The height is a value you need to have in there whenever you do a volume takeoff, whether it be four inches for a slab or 18 inches for a trench or eight foot high for figuring uh, surface area of sheetrock. You need to be able to set the height. So let me show you how to do that. The way you do that is you reach in and you hit set and height and it starts flashing and asking you what unit base do you want to put it in. Uh, feet and inches works fine for this example, so I'm going to use the left and right keys here to move to the next item. And it's asking, do I want to put it a thousand feet high, hundred feet high, tens of feet high. I'm going to say, let's make this uh, four foot high wall. So now I use the up and down keys, one, two, three, four. And just to make it a little more interesting, we'll make it four foot six is the height. So now that's four foot six, that's good. And I hit set. So now the height or the depth is set. So if I were to do a, a fenced area and I want to figure the wall surface area, all I would do is roll one side, enter that as the length, roll the other side, enter that as the width. There's my square footage. There's my perimeter around the outside of all four sides. Next press there would be cubic volume if I were to actually excavate or pour that four feet deep. But here's the one I wanted to find, the wall surface area of that whole perimeter all the way around that area, four feet, six inches high, would be 347 square feet of wall surface area. And then the final press just confirms the height that you have set in there. So it's very easy to change that for any particular material you're using. And that's just a quick illustration of how to set the height on your Scale Master Pro XE.